Okay, first, um, I thank the organizers for having me in this wonderful event uh, by Hackathon 2019. And today, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, making Genomics Workforce truly portable. Um, although um, I don't do this work in this hackathon, but um, um, I'm pretty sure many of you are in, would be interested in uh, this work. So um, I talk it a bit here. Um, <clears throat> first, um, this talk is all about LPMX Local Pack Package Manager X, um, that is a, uh, open source pure rootless and composable continent systems. Um, pure rootless and composable are the two main features of LPMX engine. And this work is done by Yan Su, uh, who is a graduate student uh, in my lab. Um, he's an, uh, he couldn't uh, make it to this hackathon because he's out for um, other business. But anyway, um, this is the work done by um, this graduate student. And it's an open source and available on GitHub, so you can try it right now if you want. And LPMX is a container system very, very similar to Singularity or Docker or UDocker. So, um, so if you have an experience of using one of these container engines, then um, I'm pretty sure you can use it in minutes. And the three major features of LPMX that uh, is uh, one, pure rootless, and second, composable, and third, Docker compatible. And I don't think you can understand the exact meanings of those three keywords, so um, I'll explain it briefly uh, in the next slides. And imagine you have five Linux clusters. Um, you have a lab cluster in which you can use Singularity because the system administrator of the lab cluster installed Singularity 3.x. Imagine you have another Linux cluster on supercomputing center one where you can use Singularity 2. Point something uh, because the system administrator installed Singularity 2.x. Imagine you have an account in another supercomputing center two uh, without any container engines like Singularity or Docker because uh, system administrators refuse to install any of them because uh, supercomputers, uh, expensive supercomputers are usually uh, purchased by uh, public bidding. So, uh, which means we, we had to pay a lot of extra monies for a uh, system maintenance company if we want to install something new that is not in the original contract. And imagine you have an co external collaborator for your project, and your collaborator offers our uh, computational resources for you. You may have an account in collaborators' Linux classes, but uh, this cluster is unfortunately operated by, or uh, you know, uh, maintenanced by a poor postdocs who is lowly paid, and and have basically no knowledge about um, of detail. Um, a deep understanding of Linux or things like that, and, and you can use uh, nothing, no containers on uh, collaborators in Linux classes. And I personally use Docker in my laptop. So, um, what happens if we want to uh, make your genomics, to, genomics pipeline portable across those five clusters? You have to invest a lot of time in using Singularity, Docker, or you have to compile everything from scratch using a toggle. So this is actually much worse than using a single technology, like um, install everything from toggles at every site, because uh, we have to invest a lot of time in investing on how to learn on, on how to use Singularity or Docker. And also, we had to invest a lot of time um, keeping integrity between those sites because uh, there are lots of different underlying technologies. So um, the analysis outcome might differ uh, due to differences in those technologies. So here comes LPMX. What is nice with LPMX is it's pure rootless. That means you can install LPMX Udocker without using root privilege. 
And LPMX actually runs on vanilla CentOS 5. So, so you can use LPMX on virtually any Linux boxes. That makes sense. Without persuading administrator to install Docker Singularity or whatever things. And also, um, LPMX runs under a uh, pure root account, which means uh, the administrator wouldn't have to worry about the security issues that might incur with um, Docker. And so, next, the frustration we see with existing container system is that um, the host is completely isolated from the containers. So, uh, imagine you want to assemble an insect genome and you want to run this canoe assembler within some container system like Docker. And kind of assembler try to use uh, lots of computational resources using grid engine or things like that. So um, a method control pro program of the kind of assembler throws a lot of a new job by executing QSub, but we can't install QSub inside a Docker image because that doesn't make much sense. We want to call QSub or QSAT or whatever uh, grid engine related stuff on host not inside the containers. So um, LPMX is actually a, a composable container system, so we can call QSAT or QSAT or whatever related software for inside a container so that the uh, program inside a container can inter easily interact with the host system. There is another example where we see the composability shines. Um, imagine you want to assemble a very large insect genome that is very large, so you want to assemble it with long reads like PacBio reads or Oxford Nanocore reads. But uh, imagine you don't know which assembler to use, which assembler is the best for you. So you want to use Canu or uh, Red Bean, Fly, a Rapid Assembler, Shasta, Mazurko, Falcon. You don't know which one is the best. And also you want to try out a lot of different polishing tools like Spry or Raton or Alor Creeper or whatever. So uh, you want to try out the grid search, uh, seven assemblers, uh, three polishers or whatever. Then you had to uh, create a lot of containers if you use um, existing container systems. But LPMX is composable, so, uh, so executable inside a con different content images can interact with each other. So we can minimize the number of containers we had to create. So that's really nice with Docker LPMX. And also the last thing I want to stress is it's Docker compatible, so um, LPMX can pull Docker image in. Uh, you can run Docker image right now. Um, and it's Docker compatible in a sense uh, that um, it supports layers. So um, if you use your Docker in imagine a container have a one million files and you want to launch that container a uh, hundred times, then uh, one million files by hundred. 100 million files were created and it causes a disaster for a modern uh, shared file system like Lester. But uh, we can avoid that because LPMX supports layers. And also, uh, the forward compatibility matters. Um, in Docker or Singularity, we can't uh, run um, some sort of um, programs if it's created in your kernels. Uh, for example, um, on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6, we can't run even ls command on Ubuntu 18 because ls command has the new system calls and that is not on Red Hat Linux 6. But LPMX or a virtual machine approach, you can run such kind of programs uh, by composing um, the host programs with uh, content images. Okay, so summary, um, LPMX is an open source, pure rootless and composable container engine like Docker Singularity and UDocker, but it doesn't require any root, no security concerns, and it's Docker compatible, so you can use Docker images. And also, um, it, la it has uh, composability, so you can call um, any executable on host or any, um, any executable on other containers from um, inside a container. And also it cares forward compatibility. And that's it. Thank you for uh, attention.